As Excel stores data in cells, the text files that you can import need to have ways of separating the content into different cells. The character that marks this separation is called a delimiter because it marks the limit of a value. The most common delimiter is used for text files is the comma. For example, you may have the sequence 200, 400, 100, 900 to represent data in four cells. The text files that use the comma as a delimiter are called comma-separated values or CSV files. There are occasions when text files need to be used for different delimiters when a comma might not be an appropriate delimiter. For example, using a comma delimiter may present a problem for financial figures like $10,000 because commas are part of the values. Hence, some financial data programs export their data by using the tab character as a delimiter and these files are referred to as tab delimited files. Follow the steps below to import a text data file into Excel. Click on the Data tab. From the Get and Transform Data group, select From File, then click From Text slash CSV. Now let's find the text file that we want to import. It's called Customer Docs TXT. I have a link in the description so you can download it and follow along. Here is the format of the text. It has a list of customers with information like company, name, phone number, and their address. All the above are separated with commas. Let's open the file. This displays the navigator screen. The navigator examines the data in the text or CSV file and attempts to correctly split it up into separate columns for the worksheet based on the delimiter it identifies as the separator, for example, a comma or a tab. On top of the navigation screen, you can find three fields. For anything other than complex data requiring advanced knowledge, you should leave file origin and data type detection at their default values. The delimiter drop-down list identifies the delimiter used in the text file. If this has been wrongly identified, for example, if your file is a tab delimited file, then you can select a different delimiter from the drop-down list. If Excel correctly parsed your data in the text file shown as the navigator's preview, you can then select one of the following options to import the data into your worksheet. At the bottom of the screen, you have three options for uploading the data. The Load Buttons drop-down menu gives you two options. The Load button imports the data as seen in the navigation preview in your workbook in a new worksheet. Click on it. Excel creates a new worksheet called Customer. It correctly splits up the data into separate columns. Now notice carefully the data of this worksheet. We have some empty columns between data and three empty columns at the end of the data. Why is that? Let's open the source data, which is the customers.txt file. Let's catch the first registration. After name Anna, we have an extra comma symbol, so an empty column here as you can see. Two extra commas after the first phone number, so we have two empty columns here, etc. The load to option gives you more options for how you want to import the data and where to place the data. It allows you to import the data text as an Excel table, default, a pivot table, a pivot chart, only a connection to the database, and you can also choose to import the data into an existing worksheet or new worksheet. The Transform Data button opens the Excel Power Query Editor. This enables you to query and transform the data before importing it. The Transform Data option is beyond the scope of this video tutorial, but you can find many tutorials that I've uploaded there. Occasionally, Excel may be unable to correctly parse the data into separate columns even after you've changed the delimiter, file origin, and data type detection. If Excel still insists on importing each row as a single column, you can still import the data and use the Text to Columns tool in Excel to split the values into separate columns. I've already opened here some random numbers from a text file. Select the cells. On the Data tab in the Data Tools group, click on the Text to Columns button. This will open the Convert Text to Columns wizard, step 1 of 3 dialog box. On step 1 of the wizard, choose between the delimited and fixed width option, depending on how your data is separated. 
If you selected the delimited option in step 1 of the wizard, then in step 2 under the delimiter section, select the delimiting character for your text file. In the example above, the delimiter for our data is a semicolon. If the delimiting character used in your text file is not any of the offered options under delimiters, then select other and enter the character in its text box. If your file uses more than one delimiting character, for example a comma and a space, you need to select all their checkboxes including the treat consecutive delimiters as one checkbox. By default, the convert text to columns wizards treats characters enclosed in double quotes as text entries and not numbers. If your text file uses single quotes, then you would select it from the text qualifier drop down list. Return to step 1. If your file is fixed width separated file and you selected the fixed width option in step 1 of the wizard, then in step 2 you'll see a preview that allows you to determine the column breaks by clicking in the text area to create column lines. You can drag and resize these column lines to match the column breaks in the text. Return again to step 1 and select the delimited option. When you're happy with the preview of the text in step 2, click on the next button and go to step 3 of the wizard. In step 3 of the process, you can click on each column in the preview area and select different settings for importing the data under column data format. You can choose between the general, default, text, and date data formats or skip importing the column altogether by selecting do not import column, skip. Tip. You can always import the data using the general data format and change the data format within Excel for columns you want to change. The destination field shows you the top leftmost cell of the range where the text will be placed. If you want it in a different part of the worksheet, then select a different destination by clicking the up arrow on the right of the field. Once you're done, click on finish to convert the data. Excel splits the entries and the imported file into separated columns in the place of the previous data. You can now set the data format if you didn't do that during the conversion and just adjust the column widths.